just uh, how they feel and how the ice is is going for them at this particular time. If you look at Brian Boitano, you can see the enormous sense of concentration that he has on his face. More than any other skater, I think he has the ability to concentrate and keep out of his sense of being any extraneous fact. That is his coach, Linda Lieber. She has coached Brian for 22 years. And has been his great friend and mentor along with him. Absolutely. Him. And in the words of our next competitors, you cannot live on what you've done. You have to keep making challenges for yourself, not rest on the past. I could not live that way. And so, for Brian Boitano, the quest for a second Olympic gold medal begins right here. Look at the eyes, the concentration, still at this point. The music, Lincoln Portrait, an Appalachian Spring by Aaron Copeland. The enormously difficult opening moves that he has selected. First is Spread Eagle. Now watch him step into this triple lutz jump. And the next most difficult move for all of the men in this competition. This triple axle, double toe loop combination, three and a half revolutions. That's a major, major milestone for him. And Dick, that was the same combination that he landed in 1988 in Calgary. to do a double triple combination there that is extraordinarily difficult and superbly done Exercise of simplicity. Grand movements, strong edges caressing the ice, not an ounce of mannerism. Look at the quality of this. melody forming the basis of Appalachian Spring. Tis a gift to be simple. Tis a gift to be free. Movement here into this. Buying 
death drop. And a final spin. And look at how much better the quality of these spins are just in the last year. Very, very nice. Oh, ho. Oh, ho. Well, Dick, you told us this week the greatest feeling you can have is when you've challenged yourself and won. Well, you know, a very interesting thing happened. In the short program, he was challenged by Scott Davis, who may yet give a brilliant performance, but he pulled it through here. The experience, the just the incredible experience that he has had over the past years winning not only amateur but professional competitions and performing and doing his own thing has made this man a huge presence on the ice. He fills the space of this arena. Now, this is the move he had just the slightest bobble on yesterday. He's done this move with his left hand tied behind his back a thousand and one times. Watch him now as he steps. Look at the position here. It's just perfect, the stretch of that free leg, the arm over the head, the tightness of the turn. Again, a slight, a slight bend forward on that landing. But what a magnificent jump that is. And look at this triple axle, double to loop. Look at the height, the cross feet. Look at the height on that. The landing, and now the step and toe pick into it. What a wonderful jump. What a wonderful jump. And one of the things that makes him so great is the simplicity of his moves. The way he has to be able to do just simple moves without mannerisms. Look at the line now on these weaving spread eagles look at the straightness of the line the simplicity of the arms there is no affectation just straight skating and that's what makes skating the sport that it is for technical merit 5.8 5.6 5.7 Five and the marks seven. for technical five merit seven. range from 5.6 to 5.8. 5.7, 5.7, 5 and 5.7. Those marks were very interesting in the fact, I think that they, they showed that he is at the start of the final group of skaters. There's still six other skaters to come, and I think the judges are leaving a substantial margin there for him. He also at one point contemplated doing a second triple axle, elected and not to. I think that would have given an extra added flair to him. He certainly did not 5 need 9, it. 5.9, 5.8, 5.8, 5.7. And the marks for composition 5 .7, and style range from 5.7 5 .9, to 5.9. 5 .9. Interestingly, 5 .9, judge number five, 5 is Jay Barlin Nelson from Tulsa, who had also had him in uh, third place at the end of the a technical program and those marks are good enough to put Brian Boitano in the lead for the moment of course we have five skaters to go